Located 225 kilometers from Palembang, the capital of the province of South Sumatra, Ranto Didap is the site of one of Indonesia's most important high-temperature geothermal explorations today. In the heart of the volcanic range known as the Ring of Fire, the Ranto Didap site is particularly remote. Making it operational has required major construction works, 28 kilometers of roads, four drilling platforms, nine pumping stations, and pipelines. Explorations in Ronto Edap started in 2009 with the early exploration surveys. Exploration drilling then started last year in 2014, and we are now currently testing our, our wells to estimate what will be the productivity of these wells. Uh, selama ini kita sudah melakukan pengeboran sebanyak pengeboran eksplorasi sebanyak enam well dan semuanya berjalan dengan lancar tanpa adanya health and safety issue atau kecelakaan fatal yang akan menyebabkan terhentinya proyek dan mengakibatkan gangguan pada lingkungan sekitar. In the current context of increasingly rare and costly fossil fuels, geothermal energy offers promising prospects. On this bad eye, we have a living example of how complicated it can be to open the well. To discharge RDI2 here, we had to implement a very innovative method where we injected air and foam during more than 15 hours according to a particular procedure. Whilst the technical innovations of the Ranto DDAP site are cutting edge, NG and Indonesia's Supreme Energy also achieved innovations in terms of financing. ADB provided $50 million to the Rantau Didap project starting July 2014. Now the project is critical for the acceleration of the geothermal power sector in Indonesia. It has been innovative and groundbreaking because it was the first of its kind in the geothermal sector in Indonesia. In Indonesia, NG is also developing two other geothermal energy exploration projects. The Muara Labo project in the province of West Sumatra and the Raja Baza project in the southernmost part of the island. There is large potential uh, in Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia has still quite a way to go in building up its infrastructure uh, in order to follow its economic growth. Indonesia is the first country where we're actually developing geothermal capacity. With 140 active volcanoes, Indonesia has the highest geothermal energy potential in the world, with 40% of the world's reserves a clean resource which is still little used and which will be a major factor in Indonesia's energy transition. Indonesia memiliki potensi yang besar terhadap panas bumi dan kita hanya menggunakan baru 4,7%. Di sisi lain, uh, geothermal membutuhkan investasi yang tinggi sehingga kita harus mendorong baik itu pemerintah dan uh, private sector untuk menanamkan investasi di geothermal. Geothermal adalah energi yang membutuhkan investasi yang besar dan kita butuh peran investor untuk itu. Karena dengan kondisi Indonesia saat ini, geothermal adalah jawaban untuk energi masa depan kita. With a target capacity of 240 megawatts, the Ranto DDAP project should provide geothermal energy electricity production for more than 30 years, supplying 500,000 homes and reducing carbon dioxide emissions by nearly 1 million tons a year. Mm.